Christ. Thank you so much. Thanks this for having me. This is so exciting. Yeah, I wish I got to come to work every day like that. Oh, that would be nice, gosh. wouldn't it? <laughs> has it, like, it, it? I mean, has it sunk in? It hasn't. I, every day I wake up and I'm like, God, I ate so many sweets yesterday. I have to compete in swimsuit tomorrow. Right. And then I think, oh, no, I won. <laughs> <laughs> and so you've moved from North Carolina now here? Yes, just moved on Friday night. So it's kind of strange. I still don't have, like, pictures of, like, my mom and my family in my apartment yet, but we'll get them soon. Well, you can have a picture of us. We'll, we'll give it to you to put in the apartment. <laughs> that would be a nice picture yeah. to have, yeah. You know, sure. you're going to love New York City because you are moving at the right time of year. Oh, yeah. This don't is, let it fool you. Yeah, I know, I know. I feel like I should get you a coat now. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I brought a few. That, yeah, well, that, and, like, I, I love visiting New York because there are so many great shops here. Yeah. Uh -huh. in, New York, in North Carolina, we don't have a Zara or a Top Shop. And so every time I'm here, I'm like, I've got to get to Top Shop and I, Zara oh my gosh. on my list. Yeah. I'm like, thinking, how do you survive without a Zara and Top Shop? I, I have to shop online all the time. Uh, yeah, yeah. So in addition to being crowned Miss USA, you're also a lawyer, right? Yes. And so what kind of law? Uh, so I do civil litigation. Oh, um, wow. And funny enough, my stepdad, oh, we've got a picture up here. Yeah, that's my stepdad who's actually sponsoring me getting sworn in because he's also an attorney, which is really nice. Oh. And we've done a couple of pro bono cases together, which has been incredibly exciting. But that's yes, incredible. so full-time attorney. Yeah. That's actually... Thank you. Thanks so much. Um, it is, yes, yes. And we've worked for some people who have gotten some excessive sentences and worked with people who have been sentenced to, um, our one client has been sentenced to life in prison for a nonviolent drug crime. Wow. And so we've worked a lot with him and with a few other clients, and that's really important work to us. Well, um, it's, it's, it's important work to everyone, so many people in this country. Yeah, sure. um, uh, now, you also are a, a superstar athlete. You ran <laughs> track and field, I right? did, yes, um, in South Carolina. Go Gamecocks, I have to say that. <laughs> I see some Gamecock fans in here. That makes some some That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was at Penn Relays. I got second place in the triple jump then. Your family's athletic. You yes, from a yes, family my entire athletes. family is. My dad was a bodybuilder. Oh um, my, my mom and my family run 5Ks together. We're that weird family that does 5Ks on Thanksgiving. We've done that for a few <laughs> no, years. Like in a row. Tur turkey yeah, trot. Yeah, like a turkey or? trot. Yes. Yeah, we've done that. We've done the Cooper River Bridge run in, in Charleston, South Carolina. Wow. No kidding. Um, one of my brothers is a D1 athlete at Coastal Carolina, Chandler. One of Another one of my brothers was a D1 athlete athlete at South Carolina, played soccer there while I was there, also played soccer at um, in Australia professionally. So a ton of athletes. I mean, yeah, that's what a lot of do. underachievers. In yeah, that. I was going to say that. I'm like fascinated. <laughs> we just by, sit around and do nothing. All I'm fascinated by high achieving families. Oh, like, I sweet. really want to sit down and talk to your parents yeah. and say, like, OK, what's the thing? Like, right. What's the magic sauce? Yeah, right? yeah. Well, I mean, my mom is the person who really inspired me to compete in pageants. She was okay. Mrs. North Carolina 2002, oh, really? was the second black Mrs. North Carolina. And I remember being a little kid and watching her compete was always very important to me. Yeah. yeah. It's 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 really it's it's one of those things that um, it never we've we've had so many Miss USA's here, so many Miss Americas here. And it never gets less exciting. It's like childbirth for me. It's like, it never gets less exciting. You walk out and you go, oh, yes, you have that crackly thing, that thing that really, like, draws all the attention oh, to you. you. Have you have you had that, like, all of your life? Have you always, people have been drawn to you? I know, I can't say so. Like, well, when, I was a little, when I was a little kid, I was like that little nerd. Like, I loved Harry Potter. I, like, I wouldn't get in trouble for talking in class. I would get in trouble for, like, being in math class and, like, pulling out my Harry Potter book and reading in the middle of class. It was always me. Right. And I started competing in pageants, and I think it changed my perspective of who I could be and made me more excited about who I was. Like, I was excited about being the little weird nerd kid right. instead of being, like, the pageant girl. Amy Robach in Windsor with all the details. Hey, Amy.